Hello and welcome to the Photography Channel. I'm Nigel Cooper and today I'm taking a look at this superb little LED light. It's the Pixapro COB60D. It comes in at £179 and it's available from essentialphoto.co.uk. Now the reason this is such a great little light is because it actually operates off both mains power and off Sony NPF batteries. Um, on the top here you've got this little button you can press to remove this plastic cover and in here you put the two Sony batteries to get about 85 minutes running time on full power. Otherwise you can just basically operate it on standard mains if you're in a studio. Um, you basically push the button up to use uh, Sony batteries or push it down to use regular mains like I've got here. Um, so basically this is a really powerful bright little light. It gives it's 60 watts but it gives the equivalent output of a 600 watt photo flood bulb which is really bright as you can see. It's like whoa that is seriously bright. You've got a dimmer control on the back here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to point it to the back and dim it all the way down to zero just so you can see. There we go we can turn it off by that and then if I put it onto just one percent that's all we have on the background. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this background light off because I've got a light on the floor here just to give background light, but I'm actually going to turn that off so you can see what this is like on its own. So that's 1% and I'm just going to turn it up there. That's 20%, 30, 50, 66, 80, 95 and 100. So as you can see that's pretty bright there. If I dim it all the way down again to um, zero or one because zero would be off obviously so that's one percent so that's the dimmer setting that we have it on. Let me just put my background light back on here. Uh, there we go try and maintain some professionalism with uh, a background light here. So um, okay so if I just sort of turn this up a little bit more to about 50 percent it does have a fan built in uh, but bearing in mind that my Sennheiser lav mic is literally about eight inches away from the fan. I don't know if you can hear it if you turn the volume right up to the point that my voice is almost breaking your woofer speakers then you might be able to hear it a little bit but normally when using lights like this you wouldn't have your talent so close to the light. I'm actually um, lighting myself with one of these right now it's there it's about seven foot away from me and it's uh, coming through a translucent umbrella so the lights would normally be out of shot and as long as the lights are more than about five foot away the microphones are not going to pick up this kind of um, fan noise anyway. It's very subdued and very quiet so I'm just going to basically stand next to it and turn this on and off and keep stum for a second so you can hear it for yourself. So that's off. So there it is. If I'm talking you don't hear it and like I said the microphone here is literally about six or seven inches away from this so um, it's not surprising if it does pick it up a little bit but take my word for it it's a very mild muted hum that you can hardly hear. Um, so in YouTube videos um, for doing the kind of thing that I'm doing right now it's not going to be a problem because it's going to be far enough away from the mic. If you're an independent filmmaker it's definitely not going to be a problem because um, most um, independent films are ADR'd anyway. Uh, that's um, automatic dialogue replacement. If you don't know what it is, look it up on Wikipedia, ADR in film. Um, so with that, it's not even going to come into play anyhow. Um, right, what else have we got? Um, Essential Photo actually sell two batteries for this. Um, I think I've just mentioned already for just £39, that's £20 each. So that's... Um, a good bag in there for about 83 minutes of um, shooting time on full power if you do want to be out on location with this. Um, they also do essential photo they do another one called the Daylight 60D Mark II which is um, just £99 compared to this one but that's because it's mains powered only and it doesn't take the Sony batteries. Another little difference between those two lights is the Daylight 60D Mark II has got a metal cylindrical chassis around the outside. Uh, this one's plastic 
um, but the reason it's plastic is basically to allow for this moulding for the two Sony batteries to go in. So this is kind of reminiscent to what you'd find on the back of a Sony um, camcorder, for example. This light is a standard Bowens mount system. So if you have regular Bowens lighting modifiers, such as softboxes or beauty dishes or anything else, you can just attach them in the usual way. Okay, so that's it. That is the Pixar Pro CRB60D, £179 available from essentialphoto.co.uk. I really recommend it. The build quality is good and it's a really bright light. That's it. I'm Nigel Cooper. You've been watching the Photography Channel. Thank you very much for stopping by and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now.